Okay, so I've been watching Jeff do um, his whiteboard Fridays and Wednesdays and whatever, um, as he sort of distills the messages from all the research we've been doing over all these years. Um, he's doing a great job. Um, it's just costing us an arm and a leg and little shirts, but uh, apart from that, it's, it's excellent. I've actually um, just come back from riding the motorcycles. We've been riding the bikes again um, through Bhutan, Myanmar, and Thailand actually. And when in Thailand, um, I came across this phenomenon over there that really set me thinking. And what it is, is it's rest homes. So up in Chiang Mai, there's all these rest homes um, in place, and they're full of Euros. So they're, from, they're full of people from Australia, and from the UK especially. And looking at these rest homes, they're fantastic. And I, you know, I started thinking about New Zealand, because in New Zealand, if you look at the rest homes, the majority, not all of them, but a lot of the staff are Filipino people or Thai people. I mean, they really are good at this stuff. They really know what they're doing, they're caring people. And so what we've been doing in New Zealand is obviously bringing such people into New Zealand, which is great, and providing the care for our elderly in New Zealand. But the Aussies and the Poms are ahead of us here. They're sending their oldies to Thailand, to Chiang Mai. And so let's think about this because I suspect it's a bit of a win, win, win. So the first thing about Thailand is it's not your sort of run down, um, you know, typical Asian, dirty, grubby um, cess, cesspool. I mean, when we came in from Myanmar the other day, I thought I'd landed in America. There were double lane highways, dual carriageways, the length of the country. We got up to Chiang Mai, and you know, there's some fantastic areas. And these rest, this rest home sector up there, I mean, these homes are on a par with anything New Zealand can produce. The other thing about Thailand is the weather's fantastic. You know, it's really good. So it's nice and warm for those old bones. Um, and your dollar goes further. So if you've only got so much to spend on mother's care, you'll get a hell of a lot more per dollar by sending her to Thailand than you will spending that money in New Zealand. Now the New Zealand government's going to have to be a bit adroit, a bit, what's the word, clever here. Just like the Aussies and the UK governments has been. Because it actually saves the New Zealand government money too. Because to fund elder care in Thailand is a fraction of what it costs here. Further, the old folks of course all get the New Zealand super and so we've got to change the rules so that they can have their super while they're in Thailand because their super will go a hell of a lot further. They'll be able to you know organize outings on things like this and and whatever down to the to the local parks and get you know, those towns up there are full of expats. So there's a lot of Kiwi families up there getting really good value for money. Um, and all I'm really saying is we could do this with our, with our older care into these villages. So it's a huge growth opportunity. Save the government heaps. We've got all, this whole lump of population my age, basically, um, coming towards retirement. Ship me to Thailand. Um, it'll save you a hell of a lot more. Um, uh, a hell of a lot of money. My money will go a lot further. I'll be able to, you know, go on outings and that that I can't afford here. Um, I can't see the downside. And actually for families, instead of it being a chore, having to go and see mother once a week, you know, and you're, you're running at 100 mile an hour trying to get Johnny to soccer and Susie to netball, and so you're trying to squeeze mum into the, into the weekly schedule, here you can actually make a real deal of it. It's a holiday for the family, so you can go off and have quality time, go up there for a week, two weeks, whatever, and your money goes a long way. You know, it's nice and fine weather and easier on our bones. The quality of care is superb. The quality of the medical support in the, um, for dementia and all that stuff um, is 
as high as well. These are very high quality homes. If you don't believe me, go and look up on Google um, Retirement Homes Thailand and search till your heart's content and you can see that New Zealand is, hasn't tapped this wonderful opportunity for older people. Merry Christmas, Mum.